Hello students, I want to show you in this video how we process the error, you know, when we are doing me some measurements, right? In this case, I have uh, this exercise where I have a book, uh, the book has a length, a width, and a thickness, right? And I will show you how we just uh, process the data for, for the length. Uh, in this case, we're going to find the mean, we're going to find the standard deviation, and we're going to find the relative error of the measurement, right? Uh, in the first case, well, uh, suppose that I did five measurements. Uh, uh, so um, I represent the number of measurements that I did. That I did. Uh, Li is uh, the length in each measurement that I did. So I measured the first time the length, I got 30. Second time, I got 31. The third, I got 30. Next time, I got 32. Next time, I got 29. Let us say that these are... I don't know, centimeters, right? Uh, this is just an example, so I'm not going to be very um, picky with the units. So these are centimeters. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to find the deviations. But to find the deviations, I need to find the, the mean. So to find the mean, what do you do? You say the mean of the length would be According with the formula that is given in your lab report, 1 over n times the sum from i to n of the Li. So what it means, n is the number of measurements that we did. So this is 1 over 5. And then the sum of all the Li's is just to add 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 32 plus 29. So when we calculate the mean of the land, we have now here 1 over 5 times 152, right? And this would be 30.4. We said that we are using as unit the centimeters, so I'm going to say 30.4 centimeters, okay? So 30.4 centimeters. This is my land. The, the mean of the length. Now, once you have the mean of the length, you can find the deviations. How do you find the deviation? To find the deviation, you know that the deviation is equal to the uh, difference between each measurement, you know, and the mean of the length. So I will be now subtracting, you know, 30 minus 30.4. Should be minus 0 0.4. 31 minus 30.4 should be 0.6. 30 minus 30.4, this would be minus 0 0.4. 32 minus 30.4 should be 1.6. And uh, 29 minus 30.4 it will be minus 1.4. When you find the sum of the deviation, the sum of the deviation must be zero, right? If you did everything correct, the sum of the deviations is going to be zero. Now, once you have this, the deviation of each measurement, you're going to find the square of the deviations. So you say negative 0 0.4 squared should be 0 0.16. Uh, 0 0.6 square, uh, it would be 0 0.36. You know, now I say minus 0 0.4 square, it would be uh, 0 0.16 again. 1.6 square, it would be 2.56. And minus 1.4 square will be 1.96. Now, when you have this column, you will find the total of this column. This is 5.2 in this case, if you add all these numbers. And 5.2 would be the sum from i to n of the square of the deviations. Right? Now, once you have this 
uh, you are ready to find the standard deviation. Because how do you find the standard deviation? To find the standard deviation, you say that a standard deviation according to the formula that was given in your lab report was uh, standard deviation of land equals the square root of 1 over n times the square root of the sum from i to n of the square of the deviations. So this is the square root of, we have five measurements, so 1 over 5 times the square root of the, square, the sum of the square root of the deviations, that is 5.2. So the standard deviation of the land would be uh, the square root of 5.2 over 5. It's the same, you know, you can just uh, multiply the radicands. This is the square root of 1.04. This is 1.02. What is the unit we're using? using centimeters? So this is 1.02 centimeters, right? So we're ready now to calculate the uh, relative error. So to calculate the relative error, we just say that the relative error uh, would be equal to the relative error of the land would be equal to the standard deviation of the land divided by the mean of the land. So we have a standard deviation of the land that is 1.02 centimeters divided by the mean of the land that is 30.4 centimeters. Centimeters cancel out. So our relative error in this case would be 0 0.034. So now I have my relative error of the land. So now we can express, you know, the land like mean plus minus the standard deviation of the land. So you can say that the land is equal to uh, 30.4 centimeters plus minus, then what is the standard deviation of the land? Uh, 1.02 centimeters where, so you can express, you know, your land in that form, where uh, 30.4 is the best estimate of the land and this uh, 1.02 is the estimate of the error. Well, we did it for the land. You can do it. You can do exactly the same thing for the thickness, and you can do exactly the same thing for the width. Now, let us suppose that I did the calculations for the uh, thickness and for the and for the width also. So let us suppose that I have now the following uh, information. I found that for the land, you know, the mean land is equal to 30.4 centimeters, you know, and we have then uh, in this case a relative error for the land that is equal to 0 0.034. The relative error does not have any unit. Now let us suppose that I did the same process for the width, right? And I found that the mean of the width is equal to 10.5 centimeters and that the relative error for the width is equal to 0 0.021. And let us think that I did the same for the thickness. The thickness was equal to 5.3 centimeters, suppose. And then let us suppose that the uh, relative error for the thickness was equal to 0 0.003. Uh, Right? So these are my values now of mean uh, for the length, for the width, and for the thickness, right? And the relative error for each of them. Now, 
I want to calculate, you know, the area. So if I want to calculate the area, I know now that the mean area would be equal to the product of the mean length times the mean width, right? That would be the mean area. So if I want to calculate the mean of the area, I say this is 30.4 centimeters. That was the mean of the length times uh, 10.5 centimeters. That was the, the mean of the width. And that would be now that the mean of the area is equal to 319.2 square centimeters. Now, when you have this, you want to estimate the error of the area. So to estimate the error of the area, to estimate the error of the area, you're going to say that the uh, error of the area, I mean, it would be like the standard deviation of the area, it would be the product of the mean area times the, stand, uh, the relative error, sorry, of the area. Now, the question is, how do you calculate the relative error of the area? To calculate the relative error of the area, you have the mean of the area times the relative error of the area will be equal to the square root as the area is coming from the product of the length and the width is the square of the relative error of the length plus the square of the relative error of the width. This would be the formula to calculate now the relative error of the area. So I can say that the uh, error of the area would be what is my mean area? I found my mean area that is 319. 0.2 centimeters a square times, you know, and then now I say a square root of what is the relative error of the length, 0 0.034 0 square plus what is the relative error of the width, uh, 0 0.021 square, you know, so then I have the relative error of the, uh, sorry, the, the estimated error of the area or the standard deviation for the area. And what are we doing is making the propagation of the error because we don't measure the area. So we calculate the area from the values of length and width that we have, and we have to propagate the error that we had uh, with the length and with the width to, to find the error in the area. So this would be 319.2 centimeters square times, <clears throat> and then this is uh, this is square root of 0 0.034 square plus 0 0.021 square will be 0 0.04. So I have now that the uh, standard deviation of the area will be 12.75 centimeters square, right? So now I can say that my uh, area is equal to the mean of the area plus minus, you know, the standard deviation of the area. So this would be the mean area that is 319.2 centimeters square plus minus, you know, 12.75 uh, centimeters square. So this is now how I express my, er my, my area. Of course, this would be now the uh, best estimate for the area. And uh, this 12.75 would be the estimate of the error of the area. Now, you have to do this also for the volume. So what do you do to do it for the volume? Very easy. It's exactly the same thing. We know the mean of the land the mean of the width, the mean of the thickness, we know the relative error of the length, the relative error of the width, and the relative error of the thickness. So if you want to do it now, if you want to uh, estimate, you know, the volume, you can say that your volume, in this case, the, the mean volume will be the product of 
the mean length times the mean of the width, right times uh, the mean of the thickness. Like this, you find the mean of the body. Now, how do you find the standard deviation of the volume? It would be the volume, the mean of the volume, times the relative error for the volume. Now, how do you calculate the relative error for the volume? Is then your standard deviation for the volume, the product of the mean of the volume times, and then you say a square root of relative error of the length square plus relative error of the width square plus relative error of the thickness square. And then you can just calculate you know, the rest, and you will find then the uh, standard deviation. You will find the standard deviation for the uh, volume. Once you calculate the standard deviation of the volume, now you have the uh, also the mean of the volume. You can say that your volume now is the mean of the volume plus minus the standard deviation of the volume, right? And that's it. This is all the process you have to do. You know to uh, complete the uh, lab report number one. Uh, later, they ask you all the questions about uh, uh, make estimations of the volume of air in the room or something like that. Well, what I was trying to explain with this video was basically, you know, uh, the part related to uh, the calculation of the errors, right? So I hope the video will be useful for you. Um, thank you for your attention.